Hello. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to connect to internet connections to a router that only has one one port. These are my two internet connections. And this is a router with only one one port, so how to connect it to two different ones. You follow these steps. First of all, connect one of the router's LAN ports to your computer. You access the router's management page to determine the brand and model. Default firmware only allows you to create a single one connection, so you can change another firmware. You search for firmware called OpenWRT for your router. This is the firmware for my router. I download these two files to my computer. Each type of router has a different way to install OpenWRT, but I believe you can do it. Here are the two files after being downloaded. And here are the steps to install OpenWRT for Netgear Router. You access the router admin page and upgrade the firmware. Here you browse to the downloaded file with the extension IMG and start updating the firmware. After a few minutes of waiting, my router completed the firmware upgrade. OpenWRT default IP address is 192.168.1.1. Username is root, default password is admin. As you can see, Netgear Router has become OpenWRT Router. Next. You upgrade the firmware for the OpenWRT router with the file with the bin extension downloaded to your computer. You wait a few more minutes to complete the upgrade. With OpenWRT routers you can create multiple one ports on one router. Not only can you create two one ports, but you can also create three or four one ports if you want. By default OpenWRT has one one port, and I will connect it to either of my internet connections. I use the LAN cable to connect. Successful connection. This connection is automatically assigned an IP address. Next step I will turn LAN port 1 into a second one port. Here is the list of ports on the router. The ports named LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3. LAN 4 are grouped into a group called bridge ports. To use LAN 1 as a one port, remove it from this group. However, LAN port 1 has the same MAC address as the other LAN ports. Therefore I recommend that you change the MAC address for LAN port 1. OpenWRT allows you to change MAC addresses for ports. You just need to change a little, so that the MAC address of LAN port 1 is different from the other ports. This is when you connect the router to the second internet connection. I use another LAN cable to connect the router to my second internet connection. Please note that you should plug the network cable into the LAN port 1 of the router. Now LAN port 1 has become the second one port of the router. Go back to the OpenWRT router management page. You create a new internet connection on the new one port. In the drop down list, you select LAN 1. I named it WAMB and created a PPPoE dial. Next, you enter the account given to you by your internet provider. Successful connection. So, with the router that only has a single one port you have created two internet connections on it. Next you set the priority for each internet line. With one port 1 I set it to 10. 
which one port is assigned a smaller number will have higher priority. With one port do I set it to 20? Thus, internet connection on one port 1 has higher priority than internet connection on one port. If you want to combine two internet connections, leave a comment so I can make the next video tutorial. With the above setup, when one of the two internet connections fails, the internet connection of devices in the network is not interrupted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. To test I disconnect internet on one port 1. And as you can see the internet connection on my computer is not interrupted.